Where's that treasure? Alright, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker and my buddy Marshmallow. I've been having some requests to see this big fella. Yes, he's my best pal. We are going on a journey today. Uh, somebody was like, hey, have you ever heard of Sunrise Coins out of Longwood, Florida? No, I haven't. Let me look him up. I look him up, I don't find him. But... I find a whole another list of coin shops I've never even looked into. Longwood, Florida is about 30 minutes from where I live, 20 miles, 25 miles. Uh, and, and I gotta show you one that caught my eye. Here we go. So I jump in, there's a, a top 30 list of best coin shops. Number one, Numismatic Financial Corp. Okay, cool. Boom, drop down, more info. Central Florida's largest coin dealer, twice. Winter Springs, Florida, nationally recognized and highly respected among rare coin collectors. All right, so my juices are flowing. I'm fascinated. There's all the info. It's 30 minutes from me. Let's take a drive and see if I can film in there, at there, above there, below there. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm here, I made it. Let's check it out. It's big, it's freestanding, which I like. So I have high hopes for this place. <laughs> All right, so this store was rad. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of bullion, loads of gold. They do have a lot of stuff here. And in fact, I think I only scratched the surface. Lots of bullion, lots of silver, lots of gold. Their silver one ounce generic is six over spot, a little steep. Their eagles are 17 over spot, pretty steep. But those are prices we're seeing pretty typical. Uh, gold, their cheapest gold, one tenth kangaroo was 210. Uh, I didn't get much, but I did ask to see some stuff. Now, I didn't think this was the biggest shop until I noticed they had boxes and boxes of numismatic back. In the cases, it's all bullion, gold, platinum, all that. But they've got loads of numismatic. Now, I just got a little find, and I'll show this a little bit better. It's 1875 CC seated dime. And uh, I'm excited to get that into my collection of good, better, best. I also picked up 2023 red book and i'm excited for this because i have the 2022 and i really want to compare pricing from one year to the next so that's a great find uh really cool shop if you can make it down here i'll put the address in that in the description and uh, i'm not done yet today though i'm just up the road from ken's coins which i like to go to that's the home of the 25 dollar morgan let's go check them out see what they got all right, total bummer. Ken's Coins had a roof flooding situation. You can see they are in all kinds of disarray. Cases are moved. Hopefully they get that sorted out sooner than later because we love getting coins from Ken's. Bummer. But on that note, let's go downtown. Let's see if it's still flooded down here on Lake Monroe. So I'm in Sanford, Florida. We had Hurricane Ian blew through three weeks ago. Now we didn't get hit directly, but left a bunch of water and that water has overflowed our lakes and rivers. Now you see this water here and there is a smell. This is all the lake that overflew. Oh, that big old vulture scared me. <laughs> uh, this is all from that lake up here overflowing. This lake is usually way down, way down. But as we can see, it still is overflowing the banks. So typically there's a wall, a retaining wall. Man, really stinks. Typically there's a retaining wall and it drops down like five feet. This is Lake Monroe. And normally all of this is dry. <laughs> and that retaining wall drops down about five feet. 
Look at this. Now I'm actually gonna be careful because this is the kind of thing gators would love. Now you can see a little bit here, the water was actually higher than those steps. It flooded into these the courthouse. This is a road, guys. Wow, sketchy. This is a road, we've come to this park a bunch. It's beautiful down here. But normally on the other side of that wall, it drops probably six or seven feet down. Now all of this was underwater. And like I said, the water came clear up and flooded all of this. So it has receded. There's definitely a stink smell out here, but this is crazy. Just to see it in person, that's a road. That's a road and that's at least a foot of water up here on top. But you can see the lake itself way high. Sanford, Florida, I, I think a lot of people don't realize Hurricane Ian, I mean, as destructive as it was, uh, it caused unprecedented flooding here in Florida. You know, we've got a lot of lakes and, and, uh, and rivers and there was just a ton. And I mean, we didn't even get what they projected us to get, but there was a ton of flooding. Cars completely buried in apartment complexes and stuff, like whole first floors underwater. Totally insane. Hey, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Man, I am shocked by this for sure. All right, we couldn't end on that sad flooded note. Let me show you the loot, and I gotta tell you, perfect timing as always. My boy came through, he hit me up Saturday, he's like, I got some, I'm cleaning out my junk drawer, I got some coins, if you want them, I'll sell them to you cheap. He puts them in a box, sends them. Really nice I was able to pick them up, so we'll look at that real quick. Just in time for my booth I'm setting up tomorrow, so that'll be cool. But today, numismatics in Longwood. Let me show you this. So they've got this listed as a VF30. This is that 10 cent seated, the seated dime. And uh, it's 1875 above bow. And let's see if we can get a better look at this. Now, anytime you're playing the good, better, best game, these CCs always are worth a pretty penny, which I knew. And uh, you can see it's a really nice coin. This is better than any seated dime I currently have. And here's the backside. And you can see the CC above the bow. Very cool. And uh, yeah, that's just a nice coin. Now, I did pick up, they had a 2023 red book. So I thought I'd look them up real fast. Now, the 2022 red book, it shows, and let me get this to zoom in better. Better than that. Let's get it. There we go. It shows the 1875 CC above bow. VF20 at 95. EF40 at 145. They grade it at 30. That'd be like 125. Even if it's a VF20 at 95, I bought it for 40 bucks. Fantastic price. Now, I was really curious... Because that's the 2022 that I already had. I picked up the 2023 because I did want to get some comparisons in. And uh, they had them there at the shop. So I jumped in here and I looked at the exact same thing. And check it out. Same coin, same price. VF2095, EF4145. So in this case, in one year, that hasn't gone up in any value. That's okay. Again, I think I got a $100 coin there and I got it for 40 bucks. I am plenty stoked about that. That is one I would submit when I submit for some slabs because I want that seated Liberty set slab. All right, so my boy Zach, back to him. He's like, I'm cleaning out some junk. I got some stuff. So one cool thing, this is a British type set. Britain's first issue of decimal coins, official decimal day, February 15th, 1971. So for 51 years, they've been dishing up these, the decimal coins. And uh, 
And then it also, does it also have Great Britain's last complete set of coinage using the pound and D system? No shillings were struck after 1966. So this is just a cool little slab deal type set. It's got a crack on the back, but again, the price was right. This will be a neat little piece to have out for sale out at the show tomorrow. Morgan's always hot. Nice one here. 1892, and it is an O. Always love seeing that. We got another little English coin here. It looks like a shilling. I think that's King George on the back. Not a shilling, but a, it's a five cents is what it looks like. Five cents. And you got to forgive me. You know Pirate doesn't know crap about his monies. But uh, I do like to look, and I will definitely be looking these up. Now, this right here looks like a little Barber Dime. Pretty rough shape. But I would recognize a Barber Dime. And it's one dime on the back. Of course, that's 90% silver content. That's good news. This right here, a little nicer, 1916 Barber Quarter. And, of course, that's a 90 percenter. Pretty rough shape, but, again, it's a barber. And at this point, people collect all this stuff. So I ain't mad at it. We've got another King George here. Not sure what this coin is, but it's probably about 100 years old. Oh, there we go. Boom. Awesome crest. Pirate doesn't have his readers on, so I can't see nothing. A little bit of Mexican money. This is fun. Now, I want to say that these, I think, are a tenth. One-tenth gold. I'm trying to read it. Escados, Unidos, Mexicanos, Un Peso, 1962. So, one peso. I want to say it's a tenth. Silver. If you know what that is, let me know. Oops. And trying to hurry through this. We're on the home stretch. Boom. This cool little thing. 1934. 1934. Not sure what I'm looking at. I will definitely look it up. King George. It is English. And, oh, not not least, my daughter. She come in, set this down. She thought, I got this for you. You can use it in your videos. So we're going to make her a little toy famous. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. A little pirate. And a little bit of currency. We got Japanese $5 and Japanese $1. One peso, five peso. Looks a lot like the American money. I, I believe the story behind these are they were printed by the U.S. for our bases in Japan. But I don't know. Teach me something. Somebody teach me something. Thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for today. We will see you all next time. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>